What's up, YouTube? What's up, people? What's poppin'? So, I'm back today, and I took some time to contemplate and to decide what is the most, you know, exciting couple of videos that I can release so you guys can finally start to get inspired and excited about this whole conscious exploration about who you are, the true nature of yourself, and just who we actually are in this life, okay? What's our truest potential? And what it is all this talk about spirituality and awakening and all this third eye concepts, okay? All this mystical, supernatural phenomena. All right, so I wrote down a couple of steps, actually, so you guys can have an order to follow so that you guys yourselves can have a spiritual awakening. Four steps on how to have a spiritual awakening. Let's do this. Number one, stay curious and open-minded and keep on learning through videos, through info, from wherever you get it from, people that talk to you about spirituality that you hear, or just, you know, build up that desire, search up whatever you're curious about, watch a bunch of videos, research a bunch of topics, and whatever resonates with you, whatever gives you goosebumps, whatever gets you excited when you hear it and actually touches a deeper aspect of yourself within, take it and leave. Move on to the next video. Move on to the next subject or whatever it is that you're trying to learn or that you're trying to explore. As this is going to be in alignment with what you're actually seeking. With at the pace that you're evolving. That's why it's so important to always stay curious with an open mind and whatever feels good, whatever feels right, then just accept it and start forming those new beliefs. But don't fall into a trap. Don't be biased to other people's beliefs. And if other spiritual people's perspectives are not in the same, you know, area of belief as you. Stay completely unbiased and open-minded with everything you learn and keep on evolving with that. Keep on learning more. Start accumulating all this knowledge, this wisdom as you also increase your levels of awareness and consciousness. It all goes hand in hand. But the, the key to, to continuously becoming more and more awake, more and more woke, as people say, is to not stay stuck at a certain level. I see that all the time. Everyone stays stuck. And so they think that they're right. They think they know everything already. When they've merely grasped a little tiny hair or maybe a sideburn, you know? But that's it. You still have much more to learn. Remember, you are an infinite being, right? That's beyond all this. That's what I'm trying to convey to you. That there's way more. There's infinity waiting for you to learn. But guess what? Infinity has no beginning and no end. It's infinite. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Step number two. All right. Step number two is being honest with yourself and your self-analysis in your everyday life. Okay? So what do I mean by that? I mean actually take the time and increase your awareness tenfold throughout your everyday you're gonna, you might look like an airhead, you know, always kind of being spacey and trying to be aware of all things that are going on. Whatever. Who cares what other people think? Okay? You're here to evolve. You're here to reach new states, new magic in your life, right? That's why you're watching this video. So let's do the work that has to be done so you can get there because you will get there. So count the coincidences that you have. You know, and find the correlation between the thoughts that you think, the feelings that you feel, the actions that you take, right? And how it's being reflected back to you in your daily events and circumstances. You know, how do two, um, two and two connect? You know, did let, let me give you an example. Does the stubbing of my toe in the morning, me getting angry, have to do with a, a car accident I almost had when I started driving? You see, just start, start trying to bring in and connecting the dots together to see if, you know, there's some, that you're actually in control of your reality. Remember, I made a video on this. So start to become aware that you are actually creating your reality. Things that you feel, think, and do, it's kind of being reflected back to you in your reality one way or another. But now you're not going to catch that if you're not being aware. So stay aware. Next. That was step number two. Step number three. I want you guys to try out, you know, a spiritual practice of some sort. Or just something that's, 
you know, new, something new that has to do with personal development within yourself. So you can move to a newer state. Remember, you're shifting from your old reality, old paradigms to new paradigms into a new reality that's more magical, limitless, unlimited, right? So, for example, I want you guys to try out changing your diet, eating less meat. Try meditating, even if it doesn't resonate, okay? Because that's one of those things that it can't affect you negatively at all in any way, shape, or form, okay? That will benefit you, okay? Just So just try it. Try to incorporate it into your daily life. Try some energy work. You know, do a cleanse. Do a fast. Something different that you've never tried before. Try it, okay? Try it. And above all else, I want you guys, when you're trying all these, you know, steps and methods to induce a spiritual awakening, I want you to set the intention. This is very important. Because the intention that you send is like you're requesting it to to happen to you. Remember, you're the creator of your reality, the co-creator amongst many other creators out there. So by you setting the intention and saying that this is what's going to happen, you are sending that out there and it will come back to you. Okay? Depending on how much emphasis you put on it, it's going to depend, you know, how strong that frequency that you're sending out will come back. So, set the intention that whatever you do, that you try out, is going to lead to a spiritual awakening. It's going to lead to finding the truth about who you are. So, for example, when you meditate, if you're going to try it out, before you start meditating, set the intention. Okay, when I meditate today, I am going to shift into a reality of myself where I'm more aware of the truth and more conscious of myself. So, in doing this, you're becoming more receptive and you're attracting that to you. Just like the law of attraction and affirmations. That is another way of setting the intention. You see, it all connects. All right. That's number three. Now, moving on to number four. Number four, I want you guys to, every day from now, to remind yourself that you are an infinite being. You are completely infinite. So you're beyond just this physical body, the mind, and all the other things that are going around in your daily life. You're beyond that. So I want you to start reminding yourself this every day. That you're just here in this physical vessel to evolve, to learn, to experience, to love. And what it feels like, this tangible reality that we're living in. Experience it. Have fun. Play with it. But just know that you're not just this. Start to let go. Start to detach from what you're clinging so dearly to. Your personal self-image of who you actually think yourself to be. When in reality, you're much more. So, remember, continue to do this. And I want to tell you guys that you have to believe before you see. And you have to practice. For this is a journey within yourself. And this is an evolution within yourself. This is a rebirth that you're making happen. You're calling forth this rebirth within you. So you can actually experience the magic that's waiting for you. So remember, awareness is key to increase level of, levels of consciousness. So right now you might not be you know, very aware of the fact that you're an infinite spiritual being. But in reality, you are nonetheless. You will still continue to be a spiritual, infinite being that's creating the reality, co-creating the reality amongst many others, whether you like it or not, whether you're aware of it or not. It's still going to happen. So might as well become aware of it so you can use it to your advantage to build your dream life, you know, and to experience all fascinating things that we still haven't even tapped into as human beings. So I just want to go back to step two. And I want to say that when you're being honest with yourself and you're actually becoming more aware of the things that are happening to you on a daily basis, I want you to really count your coincidences, okay? Count your coincidences. This is going to lead to the fact that you're building up this trust. 
and the magic of the universe, of God, whatever name that you want to call it. But there's a higher presence, a higher power that's there within you and without, always by you, always around you. So as you start to count your coincidences and the things that are happening to you, and you start saying the things are like, wow, hmm, and you're starting to question things and be more receptive, you will start to notice that there's something at play. There's something actively happening that's always there no matter what. And the more aware you become, the more you'll start to see all these things happening in your daily life. Numbers, for example, very, very popular. A lot of people say that the same numbers over and over and over again. Well, guess what? Newsflash, they have messages. It's showing you something. So you can realize that that power that's at hand, that's waiting for you to tap into it, that's waiting for you to understand and to perceive it in the right way. But now it's all up to you. And as you do this, as you do this one, two, three, four steps to induce a spiritual awakening, it's like the brewing of energy. It's like that fire that begins and starts very small, but as it starts to burn up more and more wood, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. So the fire that you, that's inside of you right now is probably very small, okay? But it's going to start growing as you start practicing these things. And going back to number three, when I told you try out a new spiritual practice to evolve and to increase in your levels of consciousness and awareness, you have to do this because you have to open yourself up to all these possibilities. Don't be skeptical. Don't be afraid. Because you don't know any better. I started off that way too. I didn't know any better. But since I was so open-minded and curious, I kept on learning. I kept on learning and I kept on, I kept on evolving. Instead of being stuck and attached to all my beliefs and saying, oh no, I know the truth, I know better. No, Oscar doesn't know shit. No, you gotta be more open-minded because you, you, don't know, you don't know anything. I didn't know anything. And I still barely know anything. But what I do know, to a certain extent, I feel I can add a value to help you guys and help anybody who's watching out there increase their level and actually build a life and realize the life that has been awaiting awaiting them. So they can so you all of you can take charge and actually see this reality for what it actually is, what it actually has in store for you. Because wow, there's much more and there's infinite possibilities at hand. To the point where you're gonna feel as you start to spiritually awaken that you're living in a movie, that you're living in a dream. So as you practice, as you keep on doing this, and you're staying open and receptive, you're going to start to see subtle changes in your life, in the way you perceive things. And more and more, all the illusory things that you were taught and that you believed are going to start falling away. And you're, you're going to start saying, wow, that was so narrow-minded of me. And that's you shifting into your new reality. You're becoming more in alignment with who you actually are, your truest version, your truest self. And that's the whole point. So I wish you the best. And I just want to say that next video, I will be talking about my spiritual awakening. So you guys can compare whatever you get, whatever it is that you guys are going through to what I experienced. It may be supernatural, paranormal, physical, through your perception, whatever. I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys, and I'm going to tell you all the things that I encountered, all my hurdles and struggles until, you know, the point of now and what I've realized, you know, kind of like a little vlog, you know, letting you guys know about me, but this video is about you. I send you love and light. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the best. Stay tuned.